Whichever way you look, there's no easy path for Theresa May and basically the British people. The first option at the moment is that of Westminster taking control. Now we're seeing this more and more as Parliament adds new amendments, refuses to accept the deal. It begs the question, what is the option that they will accept? Which leads us to the question of restarting negotiations within the, with the EU. Now, the EU's already made it clear they will not reopen the deal that's been put in place, the withdrawal agreement and the political declaration. If that remains the case, if, if neither of these two sides will give ground, well, then you move to option three, the possibility of a general election in the UK off the back of a no-confidence vote and... The people's vote, the next, the second referendum, however you want to put it. Because if none of these take place, you are dangerously close to the fourth option, which is really not an option at all, crashing out of the EU. Now, nobody say, everybody says they don't want to crash out, but as things stand at the moment, the road runs out on March the 29th, and there's a steep drop-off in the end. Lawmakers can't agree on a path, indeed, whether they want to Brexit at all.